With an unprecedented number of flights canceled this morning, it's traveler frustration that's reaching new heights. I wasn't anticipating a nightmare, but it became a nightmare. It did. In Chicago and around the country, mountains of luggage with no travelers to claim them. Like, I want to cry. I'm tired. Frustrated, tired, um, pissed off. Southwest Airlines CEO Bob Jordan is speaking out in a new message, apologizing for the travel nightmare that's left nearly two-thirds of the airline's flights grounded. We're doing everything we can to return to a normal operation. And please also hear that I'm truly sorry. For a third straight day, Southwest has canceled a majority of its flights, slashing a whopping 2,500 flights Wednesday and nearly the same amount for Thursday, leaving thousands of passengers stranded during the holiday week. I got here at 4.30 a.m. for our 8 o'clock a.m. flight, which was delayed, 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 and delayed, and delayed, and delayed, and then canceled. Frustration echoed by Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. This has clearly crossed the line from what's an uncontrollable weather situation to something that is the airline's direct responsibility. He says his department will determine whether passengers are entitled to reimbursement for hotel and meal expenses while stranded. Southwest was hit hard by the winter weather with two major hubs in Denver and Chicago right in the storm's path. But the Southwest Pilots Union says the airline bears responsibility for using an old system that caused backups in employee scheduling. It is outdated processes from the 90s that, uh, that can't keep up with, with our network of today. All of it is leaving desperate passengers like Rick and Emily Jimenez searching for another way home. Welcome to Southwest Bus Line. They took a 13-hour bus ride from New York to Atlanta, hoping for better flight options in a different city. We're just trying, trying to, get, to home. get home to see our two-year-old son to do Christmas with him. Yeah. Gosh, you can hear the frustration in their voices. Blaine, what can passengers do right now if they have been affected by these cancellations? Well, a couple of tips, Peter. Experts are urging travelers to try and book on another airline as soon as possible if you can. And even overnight, to kind of help with that, both Delta and American Airlines have stepped up to say that they're going to cap the airfares in the areas that have been hit hardest by all of these cancellations. Another tip is to try and call one of Southwest's international uh, phone lines, international helplines. Those are areas where the agents can help you as well, but without that massive weight on the line. Peter. Good advice, Blaine. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.